Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So there's a story coming out on IG. Shout out to Say Cheese Digital, okay? Um, Say Cheese TV. He put this story up about this guy called named Rich, Reginald Cook. He's 26 years old. And he's being charged with two counts of attempted aggravated robbery. His bond has been set to $4,000, according to the reports. Around 2 a.m., y'all, Cook walked into a store and made a purchase. About 30 minutes later, he went back to the store and demanded money from the register. Okay, y'all? The cashier thought Cook had a weapon because he kept reaching into his clothes. After the cashier refused, y'all, to open the register, Cook left. Police say 35 minutes later, Cook came back with a five-foot snake, y'all, wrapped around his neck and a green backpack. He shouted at the cashier, Give me the effing money, while reaching inside the backpack. The cashier called 911 and pulled out his own firearm. No money was taken and no one was injured. Cook was found with a railroad pike. Spike. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I said pike. Railroad spike and rock inside his backpack. They also took possession of the snake. Yes, y'all. You heard me right. These ninjas out here just started robbing people with snakes. Do y'all hear me? <laughs> y'all, this is a mess. This don't make no sense. They are using their, their pets now, y'all, to rob people. Rob people with snakes? Are you serious? You're robbing people with snakes. And if they're doing this to stores, don't think they ain't going to do this to homeowners too. So y'all be careful out here. Okay, they're using whatever it is that they have to take from other people. If you got this much energy and this much time to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, why not just ask somebody for a job? Huh? Why not just say, can I do a little cleanup around the, the store or something for a few dollars or something? Why not just try to earn it respectfully instead of just keeping on trying to rob people? That the way they said it, he came back two, three times, y'all, to rob this store. And each time he got aggravated more. If he had a weapon, I think he would have used a weapon, but I don't think he had one. This is why he went and said, people scared of snakes, so let me bring my snake in there. I rob him with that. Are you serious, y'all? Our people, our people, our people. Y'all, please be safe out here and be ready for whatever. Because I'm telling you, the, the, the stuff you're hearing now, they, they're turning it up. I keep telling y'all, they're turning it up a notch and a notch and a notch and a notch. This don't make no sense. They're pushing so much fear and trying to figure out whatever it is that they can scare somebody with. This is what they're going to come with. And it's sad on so many levels because look at this guy. He's a young, look like healthy man that all he had to do was go get a haircut, put on something dressy and go and ask somebody for a job. What's wrong with that anymore, y'all? Why is it about take that, take that? Is this all people know now? It's to take from the next person instead of try to go out and earn your own. 
I do not understand it. I can't stand it. And it makes no sense, y'all. It makes no sense. Now, I want to do an update a little bit on this other story that I just did. Because I did not know this, okay? I didn't know, okay? But word on the street is Uber now. You pick up packages. You can pick up packages for Uber now. Uh, let me see. Did I still have this story up here? Let me put the picture up real quick, y'all. Let me throw it back up here because people was in their feelings in the comment section. You know, as long as you say stuff respectfully, I'm all ears. But when you get come in my comment section and you got to be disrespectful about something, you're going to get checked or you're going to get blocked. Either or, okay? It is what it is, okay? So I just did this video about something that happened in Ohio. Okay, with the Uber driver and senior citizens and stuff like that. I just did a video on it. And I am getting a lot of information now. And I said this in the I said this in the video. I said I'm not sure because I don't know a lot about Uber. Okay? But my understanding, this is what I said. My understanding was if you call Uber, you go pick up somebody, drop them off somewhere. Okay? Now people are coming in my comment section and they are saying, Miss Lowdown, yeah, they pick up packages now. Okay? I didn't know this. And if this is the case, y'all, Lord, help a lot of people because it's, uh, I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of situations like this that's going to happen. To be honest, because they, you know, they keep changing the rules, and when you change the rules, it look like, excuse me, y'all, it's putting the drivers' lives in danger. It really is. The more rules that they are changing, the more that is putting drivers' lives in danger. Somebody was in my comment section, and they just said this. They said, um, they they did change this, and you can't pick up packages and this and that and, that and this. And they said they stay in their car and let the person bring the package to them. They don't go and pick up packages and stuff off the porch. But this seems like to me is a setup waiting to happen for a lot of people. This is dangerous, to be honest. You don't know what you're picking up to take somewhere else. You really don't. You could be moving street pharmacy stuff. I'm just saying, y'all, and you don't even know it. It's one thing to pick people up and take them somewhere, which I always thought that this was a really dangerous job, especially now in this day and age right now. I always thought that this was so dangerous for Uber people to be, you know, picking up people. It's, it's dangerous for not only Uber people, but it's also dangerous for the passengers because they're hiring any and everybody to um, pop up to your house. And a lot of times that people call Uber, they've been probably sipping too much. And there's been so many stories about uber driver showing up to pick up somebody that's been you know sipping too much and they never make it home and they found out later that they've been assaulted or taken out and stuff like that these are strangers picking you up and you don't know what type of fetishes they have and all kind of stuff this job is so dangerous to me it, it always have been but at least back in the days they had the regular you know cab drivers that had the window up that, you know, you slat your money through the little thing and this and that and that and this. And it had the little glass in between them and this and that. I liked it, it better that way than it is right now. There's just so much going on right now. And even that job is dangerous in itself. But at least they had proper windows and stuff like that. And I don't know if they were bulletproof or stuff like that. I don't know. But if I was a cab driver, I would have made sure that I had a bulletproof windows just so that I would be protected picking up people and stuff and going to different neighborhoods, especially now. But I'm going to say this because somebody came in my comment section. I just had to block them because you don't come at me like that. Talk about you don't know what you talk about because somebody sent you a video. I get a lot of videos. And I give my opinion. That's what people want me to do. Give my opinion on it. And like I said in the first video, I don't know if this is something that they're doing now. And people did come in my comment section and say, yes, they are picking up packages now. I didn't know that. Like I told you, I don't do Uber. So I don't know. Okay. This is why I said this. I said, but if this was the case and you're only supposed to pick up people or deliver packages, 
then it makes no sense for her to let somebody send her off like that. Now, I'm going to say this. For this to be an elderly woman that could barely walk in the first place, where is her family? Where is her family? Seriously, y'all. This is a dangerous job in itself. This is an elderly woman in itself, okay, that's out here doing a dangerous job. So I have to still say, where's her family? Because ain't no way in the world, no matter how bad, you know, things are, younger people that's in the family should be taking care of the older people in the family, okay? And I'm just, I'm just going to put it out there. She shouldn't even be doing this job in the first place. This is dangerous, at any given time, she, you know, you can get a phone call saying that something have happened and her dealing with strangers or going to strangers' house. It's still in itself is dangerous. So I just did, I just feel like she shouldn't have even been there in the first place. She shouldn't even be doing this in the first place. And like I said before, you never know who house you're going to. Okay. You could be going to somebody's house that don't like your kind. You could be going to certain neighborhoods that don't like your kind. All of that. And this could have been right up his alley of him, you showing up to his house after all of these phone calls coming in. Okay? And then you of another color too. You cannot play, put your life in danger, you know, for just just anything. You, you just can't. And I understand people like, oh, this was her job, blah, 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 blah. And people want to come in my comment section and still go off. You can do whatever it is you want to. I'm still going to have my opinion. And my opinion was, if this is the case that they're not supposed to pick up packages, she shouldn't have been there in the first place. It just seems like all a set up, okay? Now that I know that this is a part of their job right now, I still feel a certain type of way about it. Not saying that I was saying that, oh, da, 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 da. But I said if in the first place. It seemed like some BS, okay? Now that I know this and this is a different situation, it still seems like some BS. This woman could barely walk, y'all. She could barely walk. If you go and look at the video, she's hopping to, the, to pick up the package. Go sit your tail down somewhere. I'm just saying, y'all, okay? She might have needed the money or this and that and that and this, but this is dangerous, this type of job is dangerous. And Uber, you think Uber and them care? They sitting back in their office while y'all being the ones that sent out to people's houses. Putting your lives in danger. They sit in their office. That's what they're doing. They're not the ones showing up at people's houses. And I said it before and I say it again. Condolences to the family. Make she rest in peace. But y'all got to start looking out for your family members too. Especially when they're getting older. You got to start looking out for them. And like I said before, you got elderly, oh, elderly white man that people is coming after his money. Okay, y'all. He had a $200,000 bond. He, he bonded himself out. Okay, y'all. He got money. You think he ain't on the edge of people trying to take from him too? And like I said, older people, they don't be in their right man all the time. He could have already didn't like people of color. And this was just an excuse that he needed. But I'm just saying, y'all, would this have even happened if they would have left this man alone in the first place? I'm just saying. If this man wasn't calling this man's house trying to get him to give up some money, would this have even happened? No. I said the person that called, he should be charged for this. He's just as much as to blame as this man pulling this trigger. He's just as much as to blame. But don't come at me and I just said I did not know because I don't do Uber. I don't. And now that I know, okay, I understand what y'all are saying, that she could have not had anything to do with this. It's a possibility she didn't have anything to do with this at all. And that she was a victim of the circumstance. Look after y'all elderly people in your family. Before you come at the next person about something that happens to somebody, look after the people in your family. I say this all the time. If you have elderly people in your family, it doesn't hurt to pick up the phone and ask them do they need something. To go back and 
pick them up and take them to go get that whatever they need gro grocery shopping for them or get pick them up and take them grocery shopping it doesn't hurt i see so many people elderly people on the streets every day struggling to get across the street walking to the stores and stuff on a cane trying to grocery shop this bothers me this bothers me on so many levels when it comes to elderly people it does because a lot of people don't care about them anymore Okay, a lot of people in the family, when they look at elderly people in the family, they don't look at them as elderly. They still look at them like they still in their prime. And when they reach out and talk to them, they're begging them. Can, can I have this? Can I have that? It's never mind that they're getting older and things have changed in their lives. And they need the help instead of you trying to get them to what you see what you can get out of them. You know what I'm saying, y'all? So it's a difference. It's, you know, I'm just saying, y'all, okay? She might not have known. She might not have known. She might have just got caught up in this mess. She might have. And if that's the case, how would he know that? He don't know. He just knows somebody is trying to scam him. He don't know if she has something to do with it or not. So I'm just saying, y'all, this man is elderly, too. He's 70 something. I think they say he's 80 years old. I think they say he was 80 something, 81 or something like that years old. This man is not even thinking in this right man anymore. Y'all, a lot of elderly people don't. Their bodies is deteriorating the older that they get. And this just seems like something bad that happened. That shouldn't have happened. And the person who made that call should be the one that be charged with the most crime. Even over this guy pulling out this weapon. This man was minding his own business. Not being bothered, y'all. And he clearly has cars and stuff that he can get around in, in his driveway. I'm just saying, if he wanted to move around. But like I said, she might not have known. She might not have. From what I'm hearing now, she might not have known. And she might have just got caught up in there. But people look after your people. If you people were doing their job looking after their people, she wouldn't have been hopping to his doorstep to get a package, y'all. She wouldn't have. She wouldn't be out here dealing with people that she shouldn't have to deal with. Okay, y'all? I'm just saying, I always talk about this on this page over here, looking after your elderly people and stop coming around with a handout every time you talk to them. If you ain't talked to your grandma or your great grandma or your grandpa or your great grandpa in a while. And then when you do talk to them, uh, what you going to buy me instead of you need anything? That's that's what you need to be doing. So don't get mad at bloggers that didn't know about Uber, okay? Don't get mad. People asked me to put a video out on it, and I did it. And if you don't like it, don't let the doorknob hit you on your way out. I tell people this all the time. You don't have to watch the video. You don't have to come back. You can leave. I ain't hard up like that for no subscribers like that. If I was, I wouldn't block people every day. I do it. And I'm going to tell y'all this. People just irritates me sometimes. I'm a Pisces. I, it's not a lot I want to deal with. Seriously. When people say something stupid in the comment section, I will. I don't, wanna, I don't want to read no more of your comments. If you said something stupid once, you will say something stupid twice. <laughs> and I just don't be wanting to be bothered with that. I want to read something that makes sense. Something that's going to get my juices flowing to make me think about something. And be like, oh, that makes sense. You know? Build off of, you know what I'm saying? Comments. I don't want stupidity in my comment section. I don't. And if you even disagree with me, you can disagree respectfully. Don't come, you wrong for this, you wrong for that. Wrong for what? Not knowing something? I said I didn't know what Uber does. I don't go keep up with their rules and laws. I don't. I don't care to because I don't use Uber. Okay, y'all? 
So make it make sense when you're leaving something in somebody's comment section. That's all I'm saying. And be respectful about it. There are people that was like, Miss Lowdown, they're, they're, I looked it up. It, it, they do pick up packages. So that, that makes sense now. She went to pick up this package. Well, she shouldn't have been out here hopping to that dough in the first place, y'all. She looked like she was having a problem with her legs. She do. She looked like something is wrong with her legs right now. And she just lost her life over going to pick up a package from somebody and she didn't even know what she had got herself into. Allegedly, this is what they're saying. So, you know, my bad, y'all, for not knowing. But at the same time, take care of your elderly. Instead of getting mad at the next person, take care of your elderly people around you and your loved ones. And this wouldn't happen either. The few dollars that she's making from Uber... Younger people in the family could be going back giving it to her. I'm just saying, y'all. If I got somebody in my family that's struggling like that, aunties, this and that, and that, and this, and I know they hurting like that, why can't you go and drop them off a couple hundred dollars and they can sit in the house and they don't have to put themselves in danger like that, okay? But you want to jump on somebody's comment section and go off when people ain't doing what they supposed to be doing. I'm just saying, y'all. It's still stuff going around that people was being told to not go outside. And if you go outside, put a mask on. That stuff is still around here. You know what I'm saying, y'all? That stuff is still around here. Do y'all remember a couple years ago, people was wiping packages down? They was wiping them down because there might have been germs that would give them stuff that would make them sick. It's still out here, y'all. Matter of fact, it's even more out here. Now we got everybody in our country right now that's bringing more germs over here. On top of that, there are people passing away right now. And you know what? They're not telling y'all the cause of their passing. And you know why? Because they're still passing away from this mess, but they still want y'all to move around because you know who the majority of people that was passing away from this stuff is? Or was? Minorities. So if they keep this stuff out the news of why people are passing and still passing, then y'all going to move around and go to all of the spring fests and all of this concerts and this and that and still move around like everything is okay when it's not. People are still passing from this stuff, y'all. And the elderly even more because they got underlying issues. Okay, y'all? So don't, don't, don't be breathing down my throat about something. That we all need to take, you know, heed to. We all need to be paying this attention. Okay, y'all. But anyway, may this woman rest in peace. And um, condolences again to her family. And like I said, I did not know about the Uber. And let's take care of our people, y'all. Especially the elderly. elderly. Okay, y'all. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.